Hey guys! Today's video is about question and answer, so I'll pick some of the questions and answer it one by one. I just want you guys to get to know me better, that's why I'm making this video. So, how did you prepare to leave or go to Korea? I just graduated at a time. At first, I started making plans to continue my studies here. I did a lot of research and I got a lot of recommendations from my friends who are already in Korea. They helped me a lot in surveying the university and such. After that, I went back and prepared my documents and sent them to the school that I was applying for and I got accepted. So for the first year, I was just studying for the Korean language. As time passed on, I not really sure of which major that I should take. Previously in Singapore, I was studying fashion design and I think it's really unsuitable for me. So I discussed it with my family and told them that I want to study something that I have passion in. Mm, so with that in mind, I decided what I really wanted to study and took an entrance test. So I actually got a scholarship from that. Now I'm studying in an environment that I really like. How long have you studied in Korea? Are the living expenses high in Korea? I've been studying in Korea for two years now and yes, it's a little bit more expensive compared to when I was studying in Singapore although the school fees are far more cheaper and it's more expensive for me since I rented a whole unit for myself and you can choose to stay in a dormitory though what do you study in school? So my major is beauty and art and mostly we have facial and body treatment, spa, massage and hair coloring, hair cutting and hair styling and nail art. So I learned everything but my main focus is on makeup. What are your goals for next year? Anything you're hoping to accomplish? First, I hope that my Korean improves. Second, I'll be graduating next year, so I really hope that I can find a job because I want to have a working experience in here. Who are your favorite artists or groups to listen to? So actually, I don't really have a singer or artist that I really obsess with, but I like Janty, and recently I kind of like Mama Moon. I know a lot of you guys are curious about this, so what is your race? Indonesian born Chinese. Prefer lipstick, gloss or tint? So I don't really like lip gloss because it has that sticky feeling, so I prefer the other two. And I use lip tint most of the time, but there are times that I use both of them together as well. Have you ever got betrayed by your friends and how do you feel about that? Mm, mm, yes, I did. I think cases like this happen at least once on everyone in their life. Of course, it didn't feel good, but as time passed, we realized that it just happens. Instead of thinking about the past, it's better to just move on and focus on yourself and make the best out of it. How is Yuri doing? She had a surgery yesterday and I just brought her back today and doctor said that I fed her too much meat and canned food so I have to watch about her weight. So other than that, everything is fine. Yeah, she's good. So don't worry about that. Um, yes. I really want to try and work in a magazine company or if I change my mind and go back to Indonesia, maybe I would start my own studio where I'll be doing makeup for people or teaching the skill itself. I might also continue making videos for the rest of my life. Maybe not. Pick three makeup stuff that you can't live without. The answer is eyebrow pencil, lip tint, and concealer. I can go out without applying BB creams, but I can never go out without having my brows done. What is your all-time favorite color? Pink has always been my favorite color, but recently I kind of like yellow and lilac gray. Do you prefer long hair or short hair and what's the reason? Short hair because it somehow makes my face look pointier and a lot of my friends told me that I look better with short hair. Sometimes I miss my long hair but most of the time I just like being what I am right now because it's comfortable. If you could be any age for a week, what age would that be? 
I would like to go back to the age where I was still in primary school. I think that's the happiest moment in my life. Even though I used to be a naughty brat, very tomboyish and such. Usually right after school, I would hang out with my neighbors, living out my life stress-free and without any burden, without any thoughts of the future. So it's a nice feeling not being burdened by anything. Have you ever been in a car accident? No. Last question. What kind of message would you leave if today is the last day of your life? Mm, like for now, so far I've accomplished a lot of things that I can only dream of before. And I've tried my best and lived my life to the fullest. So if I would have to die today, the only regret is that I haven't done enough of things to show and thank my parents and my family even though I know that I probably can never thank them enough for everything so anyway I just want to let them know that for me they're the best parents and the best family in the world leave me a comment below if you have more questions to ask maybe I'll pick your question and answer it on my next Q&A video so that's all for today and I hope to see you again on my next video.